OSR Old School Rotary, where we try to keep it old school. And what we got here today is um, some center irons. I'm gonna go ahead and review it uh, somewhat, the, the center irons for uh, your old school rotary needs. Um, in case you guys are thinking of doing any engine swaps or uh, thinking of installing these uh, wonderful rotary engines in any odd vehicles like the Datsuns or Toyotas or you know whatnot, you know any Japanese classic vehicles or any uh, well maybe some Camaros or Ford, but you never know or sand rail. So this will give you a better um, understanding on which route you might want to go and what to look out for when when you are uh, doing engine swaps. When you're going for 12a to 13b or 13b to 12a's or 10a's and vice versa so so the first thing i want to point out are the uh dipsticks so as you guys can see they do change throughout the years if we start off with the 10a and work our way down to the 12a's and 13b's uh they slightly change all right so i decided to lay down the um the dipsticks out on the table so you guys can have a more visual understanding i got them lined up right here up to the neck more or less that way you guys could have a visual understanding of uh, what I'm trying to get at when, when it comes to all these dipsticks. So uh, first and foremost, uh, you guys gotta know that not every rotary engine is exactly the same. Some parts are interchangeable. This would be one of the areas you might wanna look out for. And it does happen more than I like to admit where uh, novelists or, 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 or uh, newcomers to the rotary scene or people are trying to get into doing engine swaps. Uh, it's a common mistake when uh, it comes to uh, why their engine's leaking uh, after a rebuild or after an engine swap. So this could be one of the reasons. Um, there's been a few cases where I've had guys call me up and ask me why, why is it that their engine's leaking so much. And um, it's happened quite a few times where they'll use a, a 12A dipstick on a 13B. So if you guys pay attention here, um, 13b is obviously a lot longer so if you're using a 12a and you're trying to check your oil level it's going to read it's going to give you a false reading that's what i'm trying to get at so uh you want to be careful when when you're doing engine swaps or, or you're putting an engine together that that happens to be a frankenstein engine or, or whatever you want to call it but uh here's the significant differences 10a and 12a old school twin dizzy so if you look at it the fill or the full level mark sits a lot higher on a 10a than a 12a so automatically that will give you a false false reading on there so i got it lined up there so i don't know if the camera's capturing it but it's going to give you a false reading so and it's, it's not much it could be like half a quart it could be a quarter of a quart but you know with rotary engines that, that's a significantly large amount of difference so we move on uh, this is the old school 13b here Old school 13B and uh, Twin Dizzy 12A. Now these are pretty interchangeable here. Uh, the full level, it's right on the rim as the 12A. Obviously the low level, it's a lot different. So the low level is like way down here on old school 12A and on a 13B, big letter 13B sits up here so i'm just trying to point out that uh it will give you false readings if you do switch them and it, it could be a little tricky because uh at least for the earlier rotor engines the right on the hook where you pull them out they look very similar colors are a bit different but very similar so if you look at these other ones very similar so it's easy to get them confused so we move on to the uh the old school 13b and the SA 12A dipstick here. So let me line them up here. Or you know what? No, it doesn't change. Uh, they're exactly the same. So yeah, I guess these two could be interchangeable. The SA 12A and the Old School 13B dipstick. Uh, I won't give you any false reading. That so good. so this one's from an FC 13B. Obviously, huge difference. Huge difference. So um, I had a couple cases where uh, they've used the Old School 13B dipstick on an FC. Uh, it's a big no-no. So uh, you, you have oil leaking out everywhere. Uh, so these are two 13Bs. This is from an FC 86 and up, and this is from a 13B 74 to 76. Old school 13B, as you, as you guys could see, uh, one is sitting higher than the other. And the reason being is because it's got this uh, sleeve right here. So obviously Miles is gonna make the dipstick a bit longer because of the sleeve. So this one doesn't have a sleeve, but this one does. So Okay, if you guys look closely here now, 
if you guys look at this full level it's sitting literally here on the edge of this so that's one way you guys could uh go ahead and tell see what you got or um, you guys got a bunch of parts laying around um, that's one way to uh, pretty much just check it needs to be right at this slip right here all right now this is the old school uh, 13b dipstick as you guys can see the level the full level is right on on the slip right here so like I said uh, we could go and look at all of them 12 a's 10 a's the dipstick has to line up to this to this lip right here and that's all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab the dipstick from the old school 13b and put it on the FC and it's in a flush right here so obviously it's not gonna reach all the way down there and that's this is the issue that you could run into you see the dipstick right there so you're gonna keep adding oil if you didn't know any better you you would keep adding oil you would check and then you would think there's no oil in there uh, obviously you'll start catching on once you put in like five six seven quarts in there it'll start showing on here so this is a big no-no and that's just something you want to look out for so so now we're going to switch it up we're going to get the fc dipstick and put it on the old school 13b so uh, you guys catch my drift you guys know where i'm going with this so obviously it's not going to work right so because this one's obviously longer so if you see here that's the uh dipstick from the fc on the old school 13b it, it's obviously not going to work uh, it's, it's going to most likely hit on the oil pan this probably won't sit all the way so now we got the 10a uh twin dizzy and the 12a twin dizzy here and i got the dipstick all the way flush see the flush on there and it's just the same principle as the others uh you see the full level it's sitting right at the rim right here now we're gonna switch the we're gonna go ahead and get the 10a dipstick and put on the 12a now this is pretty interesting because it will give you a reading right at the lip but that's the full level but if you look at the low level on the 10a it's actually a lot shorter than the 12a so that's the 10a and this is the 12a here so it's definitely uh gonna give you a false reading if it's running low or not so 10a and 12a twin dizzies they're they're not interchangeable i would say they're not interchangeable so just because of the fact that the the low oil level sits a lot lower on the 12a than the 10a obviously uh 12a is a bigger motor than the 10a so uh that's something you guys might might, might want to look out for the old school uh 10a's and 12a so fortunately in my opinion they're not interchangeable all right so now we're gonna move to the fc center iron uh these are all pretty standard uh they're all front mount but the fc is not front mounted uh not to say you can't you could change the front cover and do it a front mount but uh this is something you guys might want to uh consider if you're doing one of those odd builds if you want to put this on like on a ford camaro or on a uh sand rail or on a Datsun or toyota uh, this gives you uh, more options. Uh, the FC had the mortar mounts on the center iron. And if you can't somehow mount it from the front, you go always mount it on the side. So you get more options out of the FC. All right, here go the intake ports. They're side to side. I'm gonna start off with the 10A, work our way down to the 12As and 13Bs. But that does it for this video, fellas. So uh, I wanted to focus more on the um, oil dipstick because uh, I just had a buddy uh, a couple weeks ago call me up uh, regarding uh, why his oil pan keeps leaking and uh, he how he had to add a bunch of oil to it. And uh, you know what? It was a dipstick. Uh, he had a 12, the no, old school 13B dipstick on the FC uh, engine. So yeah, uh, it, it was leaking like crazy and uh, that's how you learn trials and errors so i just want to share this with you guys with the youtube community um maybe you guys are having the same issue maybe not uh, maybe uh you're planning on uh putting an engine together and uh it's all about catching yourself when you're building these engines so uh, just make sure you catch yourself when you're using the right dipstick so you want to have that issue once that engine's all nice and done and painted so uh yeah if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys um found it entertaining or if you guys uh learned something hey you know just let me know uh put it up on the comment box don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe i got plenty of more uh tips and tricks and uh 
just you know looking out for for uh, the upcoming uh, rotary, rotary enthusiasts uh, out there in the community so uh, yeah we're out <laughs>